So I just had a conversation with a Gen Xer who said that he would vote for Kennedy if the numbers made sense to him. But he really doesn't like either party or either candidate uh, for the Democrats or Republicans. And he's one of these guys who's like anyone but Trump. But also he's not a fan of Biden and doesn't think he has the capacity to run things necessarily. But he believes that RFK is a good man uh, and has principal integrity and could do a great job. And he wants to see him there. He had trouble believing it. So I talked to him for a while and I think I was able to sort of give him a little bit of hope about the possibilities uh, as I see them. And it was a good conversation. I'm glad we had it. It makes me want to say that faith is required. The numbers don't have to make sense. Just vote what's in your heart. Be honest with yourself. Don't vote for the lesser of two evils. If you, I mean, that seems that makes no sense to me. And this guy was actually informed on Kennedy. He understood uh, the vaccine stuff. He understood himself and where he sat on it. He, he knows that Robert Kennedy's not an anti-vaxxer. He just wants to, uh, he's anti being railroaded uh, through a vaccine. And he wrote a book about it and all this other stuff. So people, you know, he's one of these people who's actually sat and listened to Kennedy talking, which was refreshing. And he just sort of, Need a little push in the direction of hope, so I gave that to him, and uh, we'll see what ends up happening. You know, it doesn't necessarily rest on him, but it was an interaction that I had that was meaningful and Kennedy-related. Uh, wanted to share. Hope you're having a good day.